I did the 12 empowerments about a year and a half ago. Um, and before the 12 empowerments, I kind of, I always thought like, you know, um, I've got a beautiful husband, I've got two beautiful little girls, um, I'm a speech pathologist, I'm an actress, I'm so lucky, I've got the most supportive family, so super, super lucky. Um, but as an actor, um, I, you know, I just used to get, it was like this little part of my life, just this little part of my life, and it was just really affecting like me um, day to day. Like I was like, when I had the acting job, I was on a great high. When I didn't, I was on a low, and I was like, this is just, this is just ridiculous. It's a small part. I've got all these amazing things, and I just, you know, it was it was doing my head in. I found it really disempowering, um, and. I had a, a friend who was, who was a, a trainer um, and I don't even know if it might have been before she became a trainer, I can't remember, but she'd been training for quite a while and I remember seeing her and I was just like this and I'd known her for a long time since school and there was just like this incredible calmness and this like stability and I was just like, wow, that's amazing, that is just so, so beautiful to see. Um, so I went to a few open meetings and I thought, oh, this is really, this is cool, this is interesting. Um, but I left it for a little while. Um, I think, yeah, the meeting stopped for a while anyway. Maybe a year or two later, um, they started again. And I was really at this point with my life where I was like, this is just, I really need something stabilizing because I'm, I'm sick of being influenced by these highs and lows. I just want something stable so I just feel you know, content no matter what's going on. Um, and um, so I started going back to the meetings um, and then I did the 12 empowerments. Um, and it was so incredible to, in the 12 empowerments, you look at your principal data stream. So like your belief system and what you think, um, you know, what you've come to, to think about certain things. So for example, you know, with, the, with my acting, I was like, well, if I don't get a, a job bigger than Neighbours, like I'd, I was on Neighbours for about five months, then I won't be happy. Or acting success means this. Um, this, you know, all these kind of things. And it was fascinating, just that process of writing down these things to identify all these things that I'd, I'd, I'd come to believe and I'd given so much weight to um, and so much independent power to. Um, and just actually, just to recognizing that was an incredible thing for me in terms of my, uh, and, and recognizing those as data, as continuously changing um, things was amazing for me in terms of um, just, yeah, in terms of my stability, being able to rest with all of that. And it really has um, changed my, my sort of approach to acting and now it's like I love to do roles that tell a story, tell a real story about, you know, that stories that don't get to be told. So for example, I'm doing a play about uh, refugees coming up soon. But all that kind of data about success and all that, it just, I just, I saw it for what it is and I could just rest for it. So it, that's been an amazing um, change for me um, in terms of, of not, yeah, um, so that. Um, the other thing was I was <laughs> I was such an indulger in my thoughts and emotions, like massive. I used to tell the most, like come up with the most amazing stories about certain things. Um, for example, that person is upset because, and I was convinced that this was absolutely true. And even to the point where I would like, you know, my boss. I remember I I came up. She's upset about something, and I and I I. I wrote an email saying, you know, I'm really sorry. Um, I'm really sorry I did this, etc. Long, long email. <laughs> Didn't hear back. And like a couple of weeks later, I followed it up with another one. You know, I'm really, you know, look, sorry that I, I'm sorry, you know, like I apologize, but yeah, I'm sure everything's fine and kind of, and then, you know, maybe about two weeks later, I was convinced that this was, that she was really upset about something. And then just turned out she'd been away and I get this email back saying, hey, Claudia, what's up? Everything's cool, you know? It was just, and I'd always do that. I'd always, and my husband would say to me, wow, are you still thinking about that? Are you still, like, it's just amazing how much energy you spend on one kind of, um, you know, thought. Um, and it, it was amazing to, uh, 
when, when I feel the stories come up now, it's amazing to take a short moment and just relax with them and just, and I, I hear in the training, just cut them at the root because it allows me to freeze up so much energy to be able to be beneficial and to be able to do other things rather than going into these, indulging these stories that were just, you know, it's just, yeah, unbelievable um, where my mind would go with it. Um, and, uh, you know, another thing in terms of my husband, one of the things in the 12 empowerments was, you know, sort of taking responsibility for your own data, not trying to manage your data, allowing it to be as it is, and also therefore, you know, not, not trying to change other people's um, data. And, you know, my husband and I always would like want to prove to each other that we were right. You know, no, I'm right, you're wrong, this, this, like massive. Um, and <laughs> always, you know, and it, it sort of, I remember <laughs> when he, he brought something up, um, like, <laughs> like, you know, I, I could be a bit messy and, and, and sort of not put things back, like, you know, just little things. And he was like, <laughs> not put things back where they belong. And I just remember he, he brought it up and because it really irked him. And um, I remember just kind of resting all this, this impulse, this, this um, wanting to kind of like, go, but yeah, but you didn't do that and you didn't like, you know, you didn't put that away and you've been leaving things came up. And I remember just like resting with that, taking a short moment and, um, and, it, and it just had nowhere to go. The cycle just stopped. And I remember him just staring at me going, what? Why is like, why, why aren't you, why aren't you fighting back? He was like, this is cool, this 12 empowerment thing. <laughs> He once even said to me, like, I'd done a, it was one of the um, 12 Empowerment meetings, um, like the online meetings, and I, <laughs> I, I came after, it was bedtime, and um, he goes, well, I thought this might be a good time to bring this up now that you've just had your meeting. <laughs> now you're all so relaxed and calm, and... Um, but you know, it's been really incredible in that in that way. Not you know, indulging like just being able to relax with with so much in terms of the stuff that comes up in a relationship. Um, it's just you know that's that's been really incredible. Um, and you know, with having two little girls, buttons get pressed all the time, and and I I certainly you know um, resting taking a short moment I you know honestly don't always remember to do so but when I do I'm just able to be um, so much more beneficial in my response